Oh, do like a Sean Paul clap. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Euros, day off. How good is it to have a day off? No better place than having a day off in Monaco, baby. All right, so this tournament, last 16 is done and England are going home. It was kind of destined for us to go through because we were against Iceland. We didn't think they were going to put out a game like that. I'm, I'm depressed, man. I thought this was going to be it. I thought this was going to be England versus France. The stage was set and now it's Iceland versus France. To be fair though, I'm rooting for Iceland. Iceland, I'm with you guys. I'm going to buy a shirt and everything. All right, here's the next question then. Roy's gone. Who do you bring in? Can Jose Mourinho have two jobs? No, nah, he's not on a job share thing. Like this, like, <laughs> you know what, he's fully paid up, Man United. <laughs> anyway, in England talk, uh, dead, isn't it? You know, like, oh. Let's talk about the good points of yes. the Euros so oh. far. Favourite game, favourite game. What's your favourite game so far this tournament? The Portugal and Hung Hungary game, definitely. 3-3, the 3-3. Yeah, yeah. You know, like Hungary woke Portugal up that game, you know, and then Ronaldo pulling out a performance because he's been getting a bit of it this whole tournament, saying that probably the world's best player and he's not getting a, you know what I mean? And he goes banging two goals. Even though I feel like he didn't finish his job, I felt like he was in the right, in the right of a hat trick that night. Germany versus Northern Ireland. We was lucky enough to go to the game. The Northern Ireland fans were absolutely mental. Absolutely. If we're talking off the pitch, I think just the Northern Ireland fans being in the Euros, definitely. I think they even noticed that they've made these Euros interesting. Both the, both the Irish teams as well. I've been at the Republic of Ireland games and they were brilliant as well. Their fans were amazing. I was there for the Italy game. Yeah. Republic of Ireland versus Italy, 1-0. And that place was buzzing that night. Songs of the Euros. So we've heard yeah. plenty of songs. Yeah, we have, we have. What song? Let me think. Like, is there one song that you can think of? You know like, I'm struggling, but one song that you've heard and you like. You know it's not okay. Obviously, we all know the song we love. <laughs> England against Iceland, fan zone in Nice. Yeah, the moment when it was like 75th minute, and like England hadn't come back, and the fans just started singing, "Please don't take me home." <laughs> no, I was feeling it. You know what? Shout out to you, England fans. You guys were emotional. What's your favourite viral moment of the Euros? Viral moment of the Euros. The viral moment of the Euros right now is Iceland's goal. Oh. In a lot, in oh. life, and that, that commentator, that commentator. Oh, you know what? I heard about that commentator. He got sacked. Yeah, not, but not from his commentating job. He was assistant coach at like a local Icelandic club and they sacked him. So he's looking for a job. Maybe he could be England manager. <laughs> hey, come, come on down, innit? Come on. <laughs> You know what I mean? That's the moment when he thinks he's Ronaldo and goes lose our ball in the sand over there. Ain't nobody got time to chase the ball, Monaco. Do again. We've had an amazing road trip. What has been your personal road trip moment of the Euros so far? So far, because there's still quarterfinals, semi-finals, and final to come. Being in the south of France where it's hot, I've got a tan. I'm... But you only bought jeans. <laughs> I'd rather wear jeans than their dodgy swimming trunks. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Oi. About them, if you know, you know. I definitely think south of France, driving from Nice into Monaco in this scenery, definitely the highlight. Personally, like the maddest adventure day we had was a Podolski boot drop because that was random. <laughs> like we drove from Paris to Evian to Switzerland, picked up Lucas. Obviously great to chat with Lucas and talk about Germany in this tournament and World Cup winner as well. Yeah. So for me, that's been the highlight so far. Not Will Griggs on fire. Will Griggs on fire. <laughs> when he was in the car, did he sing along to his song? You know we've got the footage of him singing this song. We're the only people that got the footage of Will Griggs singing his own song at Euro 2016. No one else has got that. That's a PDTV exclusive. Vardy's out. Shane Long's out. Paul Greg's out. Tyson Fury's now singing Iceland's on fire. Iceland's on fire. Iceland's on fire. is on fire right now. They're on fire. Well, what do you think about Tyson Fury being out here? If you're a Klitschko, what are you saying? I I'm coming down to the south of France and I'm checking that ankle out for myself. He's doing it. It's mind games. Fury's playing mind games. He knows 
is going to make Klitsch go mad. And that's how he gets the victory. He needs to wind him up. He doesn't want him on his game. Does Shrew even watch football? I didn't know if he watched football. <laughs> he don't watch football. He just sat here on holiday. <laughs> South of France, definitely. Wait, a thousand euros of Jaeger bombs. <laughs> that's it, definitely on holiday. But I think the tournament is starting to come to light now. You know, you've got strong teams left in. What's the lineup? We've got Poland, Portugal. You've got Wales taking on Belgium. Germany taking on Italy. And then the big one. So looking at that, who are you tipping? Who are you backing now? I'm going to go with the host nation. They've been good to me. They've been good to Lionel. They've been good to Ned. We'll go for the host nation. France, France. You? France, France, yeah. If not France, I'll probably say Italy. I'll probably say Italy. Cool, guys. Brilliant to catch up. Good seeing it. I think we all agree the Euros is going strong and there's still more to come from this tournament. But I need to go. What do you mean you need to go? You know, I always got to go. Is that, is that his yacht again? This guy is actually a snake. Ned! I'm hungry. I'm, star I'm starving. Let's go. PDTV to the world. <laughs>